with their 1954 Red Packard, owned by Reg Johnson. Looks like his reindeer are on a vacation today, huh? <laughs> That's right. He's got some horses in stow, though. They're from the Hawthorne Police Department Mounted Detail. Everyone's favorite Santa Claus. What are you going to ask from Santa this year, Susie? You know what? I've always wanted a new car. Is that right? How about the one he's riding in? That would be really nice, actually. <laughs> you know, this car has been in parades for 20 years. The car club has been together for 15 years. Isn't that impressive? Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> well, it looks like we've got some more mounted equestrians here, some police officers riding on their horses. Those are just beautiful horses, aren't they? Well, we hope you've enjoyed the parade as much as we have. Thanks for joining us. I'm Teresa Jun. And I'm Susie Sa. The parade may be over, but the festivities continue. Mercy Mane joins us now from City Hall with Old St. Nick himself. Thank you, Susie and Teresa. While the parade may have been a big hit, many of the people actually came here today to see Santa. The line stretched out the door of City Hall with kids eagerly awaiting their turn to see Santa Claus. Some waited as long as half an hour to tell Santa what they want for Christmas. If he could bring me a computer and a Barbie for Hello Kitty and I also want a new backpack. Three Barbies, a Game Boy and three games. A laptop and a um, bracelet. A bunny. A bunny? Why do you want a bunny? Because it's so cute. Most kids say waiting in the long line was well worth it, especially since they walked away with a toy. Are most of these kids nice or naughty? No, these kids are all nice. I haven't run into any naughty ones yet, so they've all been real good. Do you think you're going to be able to get it to them? Oh, of course. I wouldn't be Santa if I didn't. So of course I will. Another great event of the day is a pictorial history of Hawthorne. And with me now is historian Walt Dixon. Walt, you selected a couple of photos to show us? Yes, I did. I'd like for you to come over here, and I think you'll enjoy these very much. We'll, we'll start over at this end, and this was our first, first fire truck, which was donated. The truck itself is a Model T Ford. It was donated to this gentleman so that fire would be the city didn't have any money. So. And we also had an undertaker, very first undertaker, which is about 1921, 1922. This was taken up right where the Bank of America is, right behind us, as a matter of fact, where this is. This is our original water company, which is an artesian well. Right. And this was located at Elsie Grundo and Hawthorne Boulevard. And if you look closely over here in the back, you'll be able to see Bologna School, which is now Washington Intermediate. And it was, a, it was a privately owned company, by the way. And just down the street a little ways, we had the Hawthorne Club, which used to hold fights, things that of some kind of boxing matches. And heavyweight boxing champion of the world, Max Bear, was a referee a few times, which is very interesting. Also, we have some very famous people in town at that time. We had uh, Marilyn Monroe spent her first eight years of her life here. Of course, she was known as uh, Norma Jean Baker at that time. This is a couple of pictures of her we're very proud of. And this is her home where she lived, which still stands, is still there, at 4201 West 134th Street. So if anybody wants to go by and look at the home where she lived, it's there. And the wind is blowing. And we have, and we had what we call the Wonder Market, which is a supermarket on Hawthorne Boulevard and Broadway, and another very famous man, Sonny Bono, was a box boy. And he left there and he went to uh, Hawthorne Grammar School, but he graduated from Inglewood High School in 1952, which we're proud of these people also. This particular shot was our mayor in 1945. He, he built that airplane that he's standing next to, and this was taken at Kelly Field, which most people don't even know where Kelly Field was. But Kelly Field was located at the end of Broadway, on the corner of Broadway and Inglewood Avenue. I flew out of there myself, so I know where it was. This particular view is an aerial view taken about, the airplane was approximately above Hawthorne High School. And you can see that now this, this is Elsie Gund over here. This is the Plaza Square. This is Hawthorne Boulevard. The airplane was about this point. 
If you look over here, this area here, that's where Northrop started, and which is now Hawthorne Municipal Airport. And that just about covers what we've got. Let's see what we got here. Oh yes, we also used to have a queen contest in town, and every year we'd get a little bit better. This time, this is our one year, 1963. We had a, a very formal coronation ball. All of the gentlemen were in white tuxedos, and all the ladies were in very formal gowns. So we've come a long way, and we got a long way to go, but it's getting better and better and better. Well, that wraps up our coverage. Thank you for joining us. For all of us here at Hawthorne Community Television, I'm Marissa Yamane. Happy holidays, and have a great new year.